Screw Nova Core. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Drax, I, uh... I do not wish to talk. Fair enough. We're all pretty spent, just... Try to get some rest if you can. Look, it's our great leader. If you're about to throw another tantrum, do it quietly this time. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. Frustrated. We did what we could with the world mind, but they weren't even listening. It doesn't matter. They had their minds made up. They were being kind of scut. Mm-hmm. I mean, I did nothing wrong. I was just asking them to do their job. How about doing your job? My job? Have you seen the size of that church ship? What am I supposed to do? Guess you and the world mind aren't so different. What? Maybe it's because I had a tyrant for a dad, but I'm used to people in charge not being afraid to get scut done. The heck? What am I doing? Everyone on this ship's been using this. Not today, brain parasites. that stuff you're drinking I am good. looks like herbal tea but uh, not sure about the smell <laughs> I am good. say bud how do you stay so level-headed I, I mean every time scud happens and we're down on the ditch you never seem to lose your morale I am good. I wish I could understand that. You have it all figured out, don't you? Well, I hope you keep it up. We could all learn something from you. Sides, I swear. Come on, girl. 
Shoot, shoot. And the bed smells. Great. Talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> it's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Well, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. There, let's go! Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? I'm not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Guys, don't let really get to you! Don't have to tell me twice! Peter Quill. Peter Quill. Peter 
Quill, wake up. Uh, Drax, we talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, d d yeah, okay. Um, we just need to have faith. <laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother, the Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, not exactly, but, but, but not because I don't want to. It's just, I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. But Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. He'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's, that's, that's great. I'm, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Hey! Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Oh, I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah, Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. Don't worry? D yeah, d you know. Be happy. I might be able to activate the Milano self-destruct sequence. That's your plan? <laughs> what, you got a better one? A little hard to concentrate with Peter singing. I'm thinking! Ah, uh, think somewhere else! Stop singing! For your information, the Lama thing finds my voice delightful. Her name's Cammy. That's it. We're locked in, but she's not. So, she's an idiot. Doesn't mean she can't help us. Can you transfer ship schematics to my tablet? Maybe get me a camera feed. Yeah, okay. Why? I want to check where Cam is. Done. Go ahead and grab it.
Okay, I see her. Gamora, sing something, anything. Why? Just do it! <sighs> this is me singing a song. I hope you like it, because I <laughs> oh, don't. wow. She hates your voice. Fuck you! It's good. She responds to singing. Maybe if we direct her to that panel near the cockpit... The emergency door controls. Yes! Just keep singing. I'll use the PA and try to lure her to chew the lock override. She chews everything. Okay, come on, girl. Give it a little nibble. Uh, do what you do best, you toothy bastard. Guys! I think she's doing it! <laughs> I can't believe it worked! We're not on the Sacrosanct. We're on a planet. Well, that's a flark in relief. Let's get the Scud out of here before Drax comes back with his new best friend, the Kratakan Matriarch. Rocket, stop! We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak and time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. If there are church forces on this planet, we should have an attack strategy. I am Groot. We've already seen their secret base. It's a massive Flark and Faith ship. You don't need a dumb planet when you've got a ship like that. Just want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. If everything goes right, we'll be back in no time. And if it goes wrong, well, somebody's got to extract your butt out of there. Ready to go out there and get Drax back? Ready? No. But the longer we wait, the further he'll drift away. So, how about now? Ready now? Peter, it's gonna take more than 50 ticks to think of a plan. I am Groot. I know you're ready. I am Groot. I am Groot. Uh, Groot says let's go get him. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a Flarkin Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, uh, this stuff is gross! Uh, uh, are you kidding me? Ah, uh, wet fur is the worst! <laughs> oh, ah! <laughs> Rocket! You all right? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nutjobs. Great! They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. 
You saw them on nowhere? That's the last place I'd expect to see a priest, especially pacifists. So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. What kind of job? It involved my sister, and it's not relevant right now. If Drax thinks this is the Matriarch's planet, something's off. The village is this way. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh... Don't fall, you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? You will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Shoot first, plan later. We're not shooting Drax. <laughs> Found Drax. Blind scoundrel. Where is she? Where is the matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No, she can't be here! To men lost! Not get a little help here! Uh. Hi, guys. Mantis? How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an Omphad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> fine yeah. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. Not in this time. Come on! The creepy cave's this way! The what now? The creepy cave! Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is... Or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotati take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Um, uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> and we're in!
what are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky. Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Ish. My telepathic control won't last, little fuzzy. Only Green Meanie's friends ever help him see through the Matriarch's lies. And it only happens here. Watch out! Double floor! Yeah. I almost didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like, no, no. But you don't. Not yet. What's the deal with all the stone faces down here? They're spooky, right? The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before. But I always thought it was metaphor. Fuzzy that. Too late. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. Hi -ya! Giddy up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets from there. I doubt it. You're sure we're headed the right way, Mampu? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Mantis, any chance Drax can... Green Meanie cannot be burdened. It takes all my mental fortitude to keep him enmeshed in lies. One misstep, and I lose him, and then he kills us all. Again. I spotted a little mousy hole here. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no. no! I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, you feeling lucky? I got this. Rocket, just stay to the side and try not to die. No, geniuses. Still ignoring the bigger problem of not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Uh, Think of all the times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Uh, he saved your butt. Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face? Oh, Stumpy? And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog?
What? We got this. Sort of. Okay. I take it back. Having normal tracks around would have been useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy. Lady H has probably moved on by now. She literally just sent people to kill us. We bludgeoned her favorite monster, Quill. In no timeline does she ever forget. Okay, okay. Negative. Water. Fog and monsters. What's the farkin' deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. <laughs> Why were you here again, Gamora? Oh, I know the answer. It's the same across all timelines. I told you, I was here to recuperate. I, I was in a bad place. We had to keep an eye on her. What the fuck? There's two of them. Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? You want to talk about it? But talk about what? The pink. What do you think, Quill? You best friend? Yeah, maybe not. Stop him short, group! I feel like a matador! You're gonna feel something else if you don't watch it! Chop him up! This is what we get for following the bug lady! She's got a name! There are a lot of things living in this sacred cave! Oh, you have no idea! Save your nice words for later, Quill! I thought I was a goner, man! Guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cave. I am Groot. Who? Bug Lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom. Are you the rock face we're looking for? Not sure if I wanted to answer or not. Whatever gets us out of here. See that, Green Meanie? You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. Creamy 
Kalini is lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We'll each need to face our fears. Some fear, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. You'll see that soon enough. No, wait, you should know that already. Don't you remember your dream? How do you know about that? Yeah, no, I just do. Get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, <laughs> little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Mantis, back in nowhere, did you know what the church was gonna do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Do you even have a chance of stopping them? Oh, yes! But only if you cure Draxy Waxy here. The five of you are the only ones who ever do anything. Finally, the face of a thousand lies, I think. It's gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. Of course I'm angry. I'm wet, wandering around a cave that's falling apart, looking for Flark knows what. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Flark, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. Thanks, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do. No, I no, no. Do... I'm done with all the riddles. Don't run, mm -hmm. do whatever you want. Let's just hear Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Groot, can you tell him to stop? Rocket dump! Rocket! Is that this is a lot? You wanna know the plan? Yep! One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. Okay. 
one where I fail is the one where you don't. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! <sighs> what? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. Survey! Are you Spartoy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all. How'd a gun do that? Show him, Star Guy. And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me. Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water. hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. <laughs> I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! out there. We're blasting shots at them and it's so much fun. But if we lose our focus, if we can't let go of these crazy thoughts spinning us upside down, we're done. Who's with me? We are! Oh yeah! <laughs> at least we know we're on the right track! So far! Unless we are! Or won't be! <laughs> Making us come to this fucking cave! Save some anger for Raker! Busted 
This blaster burn ain't no hallucination. Fog of fear, faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> He's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things. Uh, I don't think that any of those were real. Not really real anyway. Their attacks felt real enough. Maybe they were real. There's something down here that's affecting my vision. Don't think it was ever that clear to begin with. 